Honey, those earrings just ain't working for you. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but they're not, okay? They're weird. Oh god, she wants, she's going to shoot me. <laughs> right, I shouldn't have said that. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Red Faction Gorilla with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, there was utter, utter destruction and mayhem as we took down a rather large um, uh, target. High, high, high value, high importance target. There was a processing plant just over here and that wiped EDF control down to zero. As you can see on the left hand side, that bar there is now empty. EDF control, El Zilcho. But that doesn't mean we've liberated the area yet. No, no, we need to do the final two story missions to do that. Which is what we're going to do in today's episode. Uh, so let's head over to the first one. Yeah, last episode was just a... In fact, here's a little bit of a remnant from it. Uh, it was a mess. It was so fun though, but... Taking on the, the large targets where you're going to get a lot of EDF after you, they probably require a little bit more planning and a little bit more tactics than I used last episode. I, I mean, ramming the vehicle into the, the building is good, but you might need a little bit more thought than that because I did get caught out a few times when the when the vehicle exploded or, or you know, I got stuck or glitched on something. So, yeah, uh, definitely won't be able to do that the whole time. Because uh, they do get trickier. Anyway, here we are. Let's get started. We received word that a high-ranking EDF officer is looking to defect. Sam went out to meet with him. I know she can handle herself, but she shouldn't have gone alone. After what happened at the old base, I'm not taking chances. Get to Sam as soon as you can. Okay, oh no, not Samania. Let's go help her. Sam, you there? What's wrong? Your commander thinks you're walking into a trap. He's just paranoid after what happened to your brother. Wait, I think I heard something. Bloody hell! EDF! Sam, get out of there! I'm pinned down! Okay, it was an ambush. There was no EDF defector. Uh-oh, but luckily it's not too far away and we're here already. Let's get shooting. So this is a very combat heavy uh, mission right here. Taking down all these lot. Take your ammo as well, why not? Oi! Stop that. There was a there was a guy right behind you. This is one hell of an operation you guys are running. The EDF will send reinforcements. Want to crack jokes or get ready for them? We can't do both. <laughs> okay, right. So yeah, more EDF are on the way. Follow Sam to the ambush point. Uh huh. The truck should come in right under that bridge. Definitely oh, sorry. I just walked away when you were still talking. That was really rude of me. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. You'll have a better chance against the EDF near the buildings, not out in the open. Alright, so we need to prepare for the EDF. Uh, and I'm going to do that by... Try setting charges near the catwalk and wait for the EDF to cross it. You'll need to time the detonation just right. Doing just that. Thank you, Samania. Exactly that. Let's throw another one there. Okay, so they can go off once we've uh, got the EDF underneath there. we we'll drop it on them. That should do a little bit of damage. That should be quite cool. And let's get up somewhere where we can start shooting as well get a nice high high spot which is probably not the best we probably made ourselves quite a target up here but never mind so yeah they're gonna come around that corner we can blow them up which should take care of some of the vehicles anyway let's get oh crap nearly ready let's go five four three two one here come the edf mason get in position yep i'm good up here Come on, show your face. Who's making that noise? Oh, here they are. I hear, I hear the vehicles. Yeah! Okay, I didn't really do that much damage, but I did what she said. I said, we'll just, we'll just group around there. That's great. That's lovely. That's exactly what I want. Perfect. Alright. 
I should probably use cover more often, but oh man. Actually, let's explode that. Does that explode? It does! <laughs> Excellent. And I see some guys over there. Oh crap, there's still some guys down here. You should be crushed by now. There's so much salvage, hang on. Hang on a minute. Oh crap, I switched weapons. Okay, good. Oh, and you. Oh, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. You are a gorilla. You're a red faction. Give me all this. I know I should be focusing on the EDF right now, but I can't help it. Need to get that salvage. Right, here they are. Oh. Oh, the gorilla. The, the rest of the guys, they can cover me. They got it, it seems. They're, they're good, they're good. So, there you go, ambush complete. Uh, we got a completion bonus of 50 salvage, a morale bonus of 62. Ooh, 112 salvage from that, very nice. Don't need to worry about control, just a salvage now. The EDF's on the ropes here, Mason. We have a plan to finally liberate Parker, but we'll need your help. Hope you're a good driver. Um, <laughs> I'm not great, but okay. Any more salvage lying around? What else would have exploded, I wonder? I think that's probably about it, to be honest. I really wish it was a little bit more easy to see. It's, sometimes it's just a little bit too tricky. Well, I know it sparkles. Is that some down there? Yeah. But, you know, it's still very well hidden. For what is the main currency of the game. Let's drive this thing. Oh, thanks, guy. Isn't that nice how, unlike GTA, where... You, you you pull people out of the vehicle, you throw them out, you chuck them to the ground, and then they start swearing at you. In this one, they're very kind. They go, yeah, you know what? Anything for you. Alec, you're a good guy. You're one of us. Take my vehicle. Probably destroy it. Do what you want with it. There you go. There's, there's me doing just that. Alright. Let's just get on straight to the next story mission. Here we go. Thanks to you, we're ready to make our move into dust. This is going to be tricky. Mason, we need to create a diversion. There's an EDF sensor field east of Parker. Take out these towers so the enemy can't track our movement. Every soldier in the sector will be on your ass. Keep them busy until we get our people through. Oh, uh, so we're going to be the bait. Well, isn't that lovely? Okay, fine. Convoys are ready to roll. Begin your attack. Mason, stay inside the truck if you want to survive. We reinforced it with armor. Oh, thank you. That's good. Um, I remember this mission. I remember live streaming this game and doing this mission. And when he says he's armored it, it can still it can still explode quite easily. The first sensor is down. Good. You've got the EDF's attention. So we are. This is the whole mission right here. Destroying these sensors. Which is very easy because they're very thin. You just smash straight through them. Uh, is that one? It sure is. Goodbye. Wait, did I just did I miss one already? Oh, it's up there. Hang on. No, I'm not going to get that one just yet. I think you can you can back around and jump and get that one I've missed. Oh man. See, so, yeah, this is. I remember this mission when I live streamed this game. A long, long time ago now. And I actually had a bit of trouble with this one. The first convoy is rolling into dust. Wipe out the rest of the sensors so they can't track us. Yes, yes, that's what I'm doing, alright. Ow, ow, come on. There you go, good. Yeah, this is the jump. I think this is how you get that other one. No, it's not. I'm just going to keep on smashing, thank you very much. Keep on smashing. And I missed it. No, 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 no. Oh. Crap. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, fine. I have to go back round. I'm kind of hoping sometimes the EDF might destroy it themselves. If they're chasing me, they might run into it. But, whoa. That didn't seem to be the case then. Got to remember to use handbrake more. I always forget about the handbrake, but it's very useful. Uh, there seems to be less people here, so I can concentrate more on lining it up. And... Handbrake! 
good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I would have smashed straight into the side of that rock. Oh, look at these vehicles fly! Holy crap, they're going fast. Hoo wee! So, it's just a few more. How many we've got left? Four left to do. We're actually doing. Oh, damn. Completely missed that. No, 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 no. Let's just let's just turn back around. It's very uneven this ground, and that often leads to you missing your target. Oh no! We need to. Oh, look at the damage we're taking. Move, move, drive, you fool! Oh, I'm not. I'm trying not to. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they are really getting into us now. Thank God for that. Ow. Oh my god, no. This was all going so well, and now it's just completely messed up. We are taking... Look how much damage we've just taken now. Oh. Slow down. Oh, you are kidding me. <laughs> I just missed it by a whisker. Come on, come on, come on. Stop that. Oh no. Oh no, right, we've got two left to do. We've got very little health. Come on, come on, come on. They're just here as well. They're just up here. Oh, drive properly, Joe. Come on. There's one. One more. All convoys are clear. Now get that last one and come on home. Oh, God. Armor on fire. Is that going to end the mission? Oh, <laughs> that's so close. <laughs> Start your engines complete. Oh, that's going to explode as soon as I unpause. But, um, 50 for salvage for completing, 62 morale. Yes, see, we should have probably tried to get more morale. I don't know how. I don't even think we could actually, we can do any more, but still. 62 morale is not bad, which leaves us with a total of 112. Oh, we don't even get to see it explode, do we? Or do we? Come on. Hey, actually, we don't care because, hey, look at that. We have now liberated Parker. Woohoo, first section of the game done. And we have now unlocked a new weapon, the Rocket Launcher. Visit the upgrade table to purchase unlocked weapons and upgrades from uh, Samanya, I guess. We've also unlocked some more armor, which is quite useful. I'd like to get vehicle armor. I don't even know, is that a thing? Maybe not, but yeah, armor's still good nonetheless. Well done, Nathan. We've managed to push the EDF out of Parker. But our job isn't finished. The EDF still controls most of the populated areas. We'll need your help to drive them out. The commander wants us to focus on dust next. If the EDF loses the sector, they lose their main source of income on Mars. Good luck. Okay, so yeah, dust is the next target. Oh, and... Oh man, that's just... <laughs> well, that was a good view of it, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, there it is. That's so cool how it just carried on driving off. <laughs> ah, well at least we're back on green now. Green alert level. Everything's nice and peaceful. EDF have gone, they've buggered off over to dust. Over yonder. So yeah, as you can see now, lots more things to do. Because uh, dust is a lot, lot bigger. That was Parker, pretty much all of that. Dust is all of this. So, maybe three times the size. Uh, so yeah, we've got a mission to do down there. We've got so many guerrilla actions to do. Lots of targets as well. It's great. Uh, what is the time left on the episode? We've got a few minutes left yet. Should we go and buy something? Or maybe head into dust? Should we go have a little look around dust? Let's go look around dust. We'll go to the new safe house. How about that? If I can get a good vehicle from somewhere. Uh, let's just go down here. That was a bit stupid, but we didn't take that much fall damage. It's fine. Oh, look at this thing! It's this stupid little thing again. Quick, Mason, get in. See, again, he's, he's more than happy to give us his vehicle. I'm not that happy to take it, because it's not very good. But I appreciate his, uh, his kindness. I really do. So where am I going? Am I going to the right place? I want to go to that safe house over there. Oh, it's quite far away, and I'm going the wrong direction as well. Yeah, let's get into a faster vehicle. This is no good. 
Shut up. Shut up, lady. Yeah, but I remember that, that mission causing me a little bit of trouble right there. And you know what? Maybe maybe I wasn't too far off because I almost died. I was seconds away from failing that. So, mind you, it is the last mission of the area. So it should be fairly difficult, I guess. Why are there no good vehicles? Ooh, it's telling us about a new guerrilla action right there. In fact, there's a handbook entry on it. Should we have a quick look? Oh, wrong button. Let's have a quick look at the handbook. And that would be... Interception. Yes, it's this one, right? Uh, yes. So, we've done uh, we've done house arrests. That's the hostage. EDF assaults we've done. Demolition's master we've done. Transporter we have done. What's the transporter one? Uh-huh. Okay. Right, fair enough. But yeah, the uh, interception is all about a courier. Um... Our techs are monitoring EDF frequencies for useful information. Anytime they hear about an EDF delivery, they ask someone to go after it. Stop the courier by any means necessary and get their data. If we get the EDF's intel, we lower their control in the sector. Track down and kill the courier. Obtain his data and escape from the EDF to upload the information. So it's like a smash and grab sort of deal. We have to go full on that vehicle. But I'm not going to do that right now. I want to get to dust first. Uh, yeah, you can see it on the map right there. But here we are, we're in dust. You can see how, look, do you see how much it changes? Just like that. How I said that the, each area is slightly different to each other. It, it, it changes colour a little bit and it just changes... Yeah, let's see. Really, really nice and orangey. And then it goes into a slightly duller, kind of greenier tone. More earthy colour. And the EDF are after us straight away. Oh, there's a courier. This must be the courier. Oh, well, look, we're right near it. We might as well try and get it. I, I didn't mean to do this mission, but hey, if it's, if it's forcing itself upon us, track the courier and stop him before he delivers his information. Once the courier is dead, collect the data and get the alert level to green to complete your objective. Okay, fine. Right, let's quickly try and do this by the end of the episode. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do this because we're in a very, very, very slow vehicle and he's a lot faster than us. And we need to try and get a shortcut, I guess. Come on. Oh, yes, no. <laughs> oh, we're not going to do this. There's no way in hell. He's so much faster than us. I should have got that vehicle. Get out, get out, get out. Get in. Oh, she wasn't She wasn't too happy, was she? Damn it, no. We've we, we lost him. We lost him. Bugger. Definitely not. Definitely not. Alright, well that's fair enough. We'll do that another time. As I mentioned, they do pop up randomly, so it's not the end of the world. I was not prepared for that. Definitely not prepared. Let's head towards the safe house, which is... Oh, am I still going the wrong way? How am I still going the wrong way? God's sake. Mars is very difficult to navigate, don't you know? Lots of windy roads. I mean, really, who designed this place? I think it was Earth. Oh, awkward. But yeah, as you can see, it's, it's a lot earthier, a lot greener. And it has more, um... More of these billboard things as well, I don't know. Does it have more? It looks like it has more. It's slightly different architecture, than I'll, I'll say. Maybe that instead. Different way of showing things. Is this, is this what I think it is? Sorry! No, it's not. There's a really cool section of this map. I think it's a uh, yeah. It's definitely it definitely is in dust. It's um, it's the quarry. Oh, there it is. There. This is a really cool place. I think there'll be a few guerrilla actions. Maybe even a, maybe even a mission near there sometime soon. You gotta love quarries in games. Don't know why they're always so fun though. Let's head back here. We'll probably mm, do we want to upgrade anything? We haven't got that much salvage. Whoops. We should have a quick look though, shouldn't we really? Let's have a quick look. Now we're in Dust Safe House. Uh-huh. Hey, where's Samania? There she is. Yeah, we will do. So what did we unlock? We unlocked the rocket launcher. Oh, which we do have enough for. Oh, armor. Oh, I don't know what to get. Um... 
Oh, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I mean, armor's really good, but so is a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. <laughs> be careful where you aim that. What do you mean by that? What do you think? Do you think I'd shoot you, Samania? What do you take me for? Damn it, I can't equip it. All right, I may, I, maybe I wanted to shoot her. <laughs> and we even get a hamburg entry for that. Why? It's a bloody rocket launcher. We know what it does. Useful against vehicles, tanks, aircraft, and the occasional building. Just make sure there's plenty of distance between you and the target. Yeah, good point. And I think we're currently in the way of a bit of a target practice. Oi, 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 watch it. Easy now. Bloody hell. Okay, so let's end the episode off there. Uh, we'll have a proper look around dust next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.